Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. Screening for prostate cancer continues to be a controversial topic. Many people have been waiting for an ongoing U.S. trial called the PLCO trial that was intended to determine if screening for prostate cancer saves lives. And the first analysis of that study is being reported in the New England Journal of Medicine in March of 2009. And that study showed the following, that screening increased the detection rate by 22%. There were more cancers, early stage cancers mostly, being diagnosed in the men who were getting screened. However, with all men being followed for seven years and 70%, approximately 70% being followed for 10 years, the results do not yet show a drop in the death rate from prostate cancer. And so where does this information leave us? Does it mean screening doesn't work? Does it mean it's a waste of time? What is the take home message people should have? First of all, we need to acknowledge the potential problems with the study. Number one, a lot of the men who got into the study had already had a PSA test at some point. And so that may have offered some reduction in the ability to detect an improvement in the death rate. That's number one. Number two, men were recommended for a biopsy if their PSA exceeded four nanograms per ml. Nowadays, we know that even at that level, even at a level of three or two nanograms, that some men have prostate cancer. So it is possible that cancers were not diagnosed as early as they could have been using a PSA test with a lower cutoff value. A third thing is that there have been improvements in the treatment of prostate cancer, making it more difficult to prove that screening saves lives. And lastly is the problem of something called contamination, meaning that many men who are not supposed to get a PSA actually did get a PSA test. And so that would have lessened the likelihood of showing a drop in the death rate from prostate cancer. Having said that, the authors acknowledge that even though those things occurred, the fact that you had a significant increase in the number of cancers detected still provided an opportunity to show a reduction in the death rate if there was one within that seven to ten year period. Okay, so where does that leave us? What is the take home message? First of all, we can say pretty confidently that the drop in the death rate from prostate cancer that was first noticed in 1993 is not due to PSA screening as many proponents of PSA has expressed. These results show that a improvement doesn't occur within three or four years, even at seven to 10 years, you don't see a drop in the death rate as a result of screening. So that's number one. And that means that the question about the benefit of screening really remains unknown. Does it mean that screening doesn't work at all? And the answer is no, it doesn't mean that either because even seven to 10 years may not be enough time to follow men to know if there is a reduction in the death rate down the road. That may take 15 years. It could take even longer than that. So this, this study is ongoing. It's important to get the information even out early because there have been recommendations that men over the age of 75 or those who have less than a 10-year life expectancy are unlikely to benefit from screening. And this study supports that recommendation. So if you're an older man or if your health is impaired, you're unlikely to develop a benefit from screening if you're in that health category. For time going forward, for younger men who have a long life expectancy, who want definitive results, this study is still not over. And so you're going to need to discuss the issue with your family doctor. There is a pro side to screening and a con side to screening. Screening has consequences, not just the fact that you may get a bruise or get dizzy from a blood test, but if you get diagnosed and treated, you run the risk of getting one of the potential complications, which may be with you the rest of your life such as impotence or incontinence. 
So the best thing that most men can do is continue to have a good discussion about the risks and benefits with your family doctor, and each man should individualize his decision going forward. We look forward to further information from this study, but for the moment, it does provide useful information about where we stand at screening for seven to 10 years. Thank you.